when we started to think about this game, the first thing was we did is to do a, a big brainstorm with everyone from the team coming with uh, new ideas. And what we wanted to do is to find a unique gameplay. So uh, hello everyone, I'm uh, JB Gracie from uh, Monochrome, I'm the CEO of Monochrome, so I'm French. I'm based in uh, Paris, uh, in, uh, in France. So what we will show you is our first real game for PC and console called Tandem, A Tales of, uh, of Shadows. You will follow uh, the story of a little girl called Emma. She's a 12 years English girl in the 19th century living in London. She's obsessed by the disappearance of Thomas Kane, the son of a famous uh, magician family. Scotland Yard has been investigating for a month, but unfortunately there is no clue about why this kid has disappeared. And uh, during a, a creepy night, she takes her courage and uh, go to the Manor's family to uh, see if she can find some clues uh, to solve the investigation. When we started to think about this game, the first thing was we did is to do a, a big brainstorm with everyone from the team coming with uh, new ideas. And what we wanted to do is to find a unique gameplay. Uh, so it, I, we know that it's very difficult to find something you've never seen, but uh, we wanted to, to find something quite original and, um, and quite fresh. So uh, the main concept of the game is based on two characters, Emma and uh, his uh, her beloved teddy bear uh, called Fenton. So uh, the main goal of the game is to reach the exit of each level playing with these two characters. So what is also interesting is that each character is in its own dimension. So Emma is in a top-down view and Fenton is in a side scroll of view. And the player will have to switch between these two characters and find the possibilities and uh, take uh, all the power of each character to, uh, to find the exit and pursue uh, the, the quest. Okay, so uh, what you will see is the very first level of the, of the first universe. Some levels are introduced by cinematics. May I present you Emma? Uh, this is the main character of the game. So, as I said, she's a little girl, 10 years old, and uh, a companion for the game is uh, Fenton the teddy bear. So, as you can see, you can switch between two dimensions by simply pressing a button. So, uh, for example, on this one, uh, Emma cannot open the door. And you, you, as you can see, when you switch uh, over dimension, Phantom will push this button so Emma can continue his way. So the main goal of the game is to Phantom to reach the exit of each level. That is uh, on the next screen by this little symbol on the left. The other key thing of the game is shadows. As you can see, uh, Emma used a lantern to forecast shadows and Fenton is able to work in these shadows. So uh, the main goal is to create this path uh, between Fenton and Emma to reach the, the exit. On the second level of this universe, uh, we will confirm the, this first mechanic. So as you can see, Fenton is trying to reach in the exit, but uh, as there is no, there is a, uh, an empty uh, space, he can do that and he will die. So uh, all the strategy is to find which action Emma has to do, and also Fenton, to create this path to reach the exit. So as you can also see, Emma with his lantern is creating a shadow so Fenton can walk on. And then up. He reached the exit and then we can go to the next level. Of course, we will vary the different mechanics of the game. So, uh, for example, on this one, Emma has to reach also the exit. And uh, there is no way to, uh, to, to do that. 
how can Emma help Fenton to find this exit? As we can see, she can also use some object of the game uh, to, uh, to find the best way to solve the puzzle. But for example, she can push and move some boxes, but you will see on the game many different items she can, she can use. As we saw in the previous level, Emma Fenton, by pushing uh, some buttons in its dimension, can help Emma to, to open doors. On this level, Emma have, have to find a key to open the door to release the exit. About the art direction, we want to find a balance between this 19th century influence and all the artists we love, like Tim Burton or even Disney. This one, in the game, we will have, have five different universes corresponding to five different areas of the manor. In this one, we are in the basement of the manor. Uh, so, as you can see, we play with some steampunk codes and also some influence for Jules Verne and the Nautilus. So, it's a mix between these two influences. There is more way to produce shadows than Tom can work on. So, in the first one, it was with the lantern, and the lantern will cast shadows on object. With this one, we have, we have all the liquid system uh, of, the, of the boiling room that will create some shadows. When, so, when Emma opens this boiling system, she can create some shadows with the liquid so Fenton can work on. This is a little look of the menu working on the user interface. It's not finished, but as you can see, we can have access to all the 45 levels of the games. We're still in the second universe, so uh, as, as I said, now we are ready into a Jules Verne uh, look and feel, like in the big library of the, of the Nautilus. And what we will show you is that, uh, of course, you have some puzzle and you have to find the best way, but also you have some uh, platforming action. So you, key, you can see Fenton has to do a, a race uh, to reach the button, jumping in the right time on the liquid system. Here we are in the third universe of the game called the kitchen. So we, we are in the kitchen of the manor. And uh, as you can see, there is a new character in this game, a co what we call a cubby. Well, it's a bit strange, huh? it's a big uh, pink uh, cube. So we can imagine that uh, this is maybe food or something like that. But uh, as you can see, Emma has to play with this uh, cubby, we call it cubby to uh, generate some platform so Fenton can work on. For us, it is a, pu a puzzle game, and sometimes it's quite important to have pure action level. So the, I would say the, the, the player can rest a little bit and have more fun than, than re re reflection. In the game, we have small level uh, and also enormous level, really huge level. So this one is very huge. Well, I have to say that what you can see is the alpha version of the game. So we are improving right now all the animation, the effect, and of course uh, the, the the gameplay and the design. So on this big table, Emma has to find a way between the kitchen the tools and uh, the dessert to escape from the big game. Thanks a lot for watching uh, this uh, video. We really want to thank the London Festival game and uh, all the crew, which, which has been uh, fantastic. So if you want uh, more detail or more information about the game, we, we have an official website called uh, tandem.games. Uh, so it, the URL is very simple. So you will have access with uh, 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 more content, videos, more explanation of the key features of the game. There, there are also some links to all the social network. We have an official also Discord server. So all the team is here to answer your question. And most important, we have also a Steam page uh, that you can uh, already uh, wishlist if you want. We'll have a, a demo available in, uh, I think, uh, three months uh, on Steam. And uh, our objective uh, is really to uh, release the game uh, by uh, the end of the year. So uh, stay tuned and uh, au revoir.